what I made for ya. There you go. Coffee. Let's have coffee. I know. This is my studio, everybody. <laughs> this is my wonderful minivan studio. Oh, that tastes good. Okay, coffee. Well, today <clears throat> I'm going to show you my hair products and my face products and my skin products. I've had so many questions about my hair. Well, let me just discuss my hair. If you've been with me for a while, I my hair was just a mess. It was like after I washed it, it would just frizz out. It's a little thin. See, it has broken. It's a little thin at the bottom, but I'm not ready to trim that off. I would almost have to trim it to here. Now, so I'm going to leave it. But thank you for saying I have such beautiful hair. How do I do my hair? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's go with the hair first. This is my tackle box. <laughs> it's a fishing tackle box. And I thought I could not find a decent makeup um, container, a, a box. So I just went ahead with this. And let me show you. I'm going to turn the camera down and I'll show you what's in here. Well, first of all, I keep bobby pins here and I keep a comb, my a small comb in here. Let me move back. Okay. So this is my tackle box. Okay. What I did was I bought some products. This is the first one I bought. I bought this at Sephora at the mall. It's called, let me see, it's called Moroccan Oil. This is the, the brand name. And this is, it is lotion. It's hair smooth. It smooths my hair down. It's hair, um, it's a lotion. Now I bought this first and I thought, if it's going to smooth it down because <laughs> one time I washed my hair and it dried. It was just like frizzy. It was like dead hair. That's what it was, right? Well, it's an all hair dead. I don't know. They say that. But anyways, so I bought this. Let me just show you. Let me get a wipe ready because I'm going to wipe this off my hands. But let me show you. Pump it out. Okay, here we go. I might need more. It seems like it's just a lotion, like face lotion. What I do is I put it on the ends, kind of bring it down, smooth, smooth the hair down a little bit. There we go. There. So this is what I've been doing for my hair. Okay. Let me go ahead. And wipe this off. <laughs> this is where, if you really get into a lot of beauty products, it's really nice to have a sink. I kind of miss having a sink. But a lot of times what I do is I get ready at Planet Fitness after I work out. And they've got sinks in there. And they've got um, nice lighted mirrors, um, magnifying mirrors, everything. So what I also carry is a comb like this. It's a big um, tooth comb there and so what I'll do is just kind of work it in there and it kind of it tames it down there we go yeah. so yeah now what I do is as far as my hair goes I comb I cut my hair myself I've always have I'm the only one that ever touches my bangs because I know how to do it I know what I like get in here yeah I always have a pair of hair scissors and a lot of times what I do is uh, I just I have in that one comb and I bring it down and then you know cut the ends off yeah so this is what I do for my hair after I wash it now my shampoo and conditioner is way in the back in my garage area so what I use is Pantene and I use for color treated hair because I color my hair blonde. Okay. I do have gray hair. I mean, um, 
70 years old, right? Of course, I have gray hair. But I do like to keep it blonde. And that probably does. Um, in It has, over the years doing that, it has thinned my hair. But I'm going to mention something. My mother and my older sister, we were talking about hair one time. And, and they had short hair. And they go, oh, well, when you get older, you, you'll, you'll have short hair. And I was like, I remember saying, why? Why do I have to have short hair? <clears throat> and they said, well, when you get older, you'll find out. It's just easier to take care of and it doesn't grow out as well. Well, I am finding you really do have to take care of it. If you're older and you want to have long hair, you have to be on point. <laughs> I am trying really hard to keep longer hair. I will mention that probably about 10 years ago, I buzzed my head. I've always, it was one of those um, bucket list things. I remember seeing it when I watched a uh, GI Jane and she buzzed her head. Remember that? She had that smile on her face. Well, when I did it, I had the same smile looking in the mirror. But So for two years, I had kept it buzzed. And that's when I really started getting into wearing hats and scarves and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't always had, you know, uh, long hair. And I thought what I would do with buzzing it, I would start all over again. I wasn't sure if I'd ever color it again, but obviously, look, I am. So that would, that's been my journey as far as hair. I just feel like, why does an older person always have to have short hair? I have seen older women, they've never colored their hair ever. And they have this thick, long hair. Um, really beautiful gray hair. It's gorgeous. I don't care what anybody says. They take care of it. And they probably use like Moroccan oil or something like that. And they take care of it. It's gorgeous. So someday maybe I'll do that. But I'd have to let it all grow out. Okay. What other products did I get after? I got this. This is, um, this is hair. What is this called? Let me see. Okay. This is repair. I could, this is a repair. It's very expensive. It's about $30 for this and $30 for this. It's a repair. After I wash my hair, I put it on. Yeah. The lotion I put on like um, when I'm getting ready, like throughout the week, right? That I haven't washed my hair. Um, but I use the Pantene shampoo. Let me finish that. And I also use a conditioner that comes, it's a tube of conditioner, and it comes with my hair color. I use L'Oreal, L'Oreal Excellence. Okay, so there's this tube of conditioner that comes with it. It usually, and it's excellent, oh my gosh. And I usually use it, um, it lasts me for till the time that I actually recolor my hair. I Because I go to the gym and wash my hair, I don't usually wash my hair, but once every week or once every week and a half. Right. I mean, I don't wash my hair that often, right? So I'm using the lotion. After I wash it, I'm putting the repair on. And another product that I get, I'm not that crazy about it because it, I think it has alcohol in it, but it's a, it helps with volume, Moroccan oil. And when I do use it, after I wash it, I will spray it on my bangs and I work it in to, to give it volume. It really does work. Yeah, it really does. But today I'm just more like, I just want to have long straight hair. So these are my hair products. Let me see, do I have any more? Oh, sometimes I use this. I always do like their, it's called Got To Be. And I've used it a lot. I've had this a long time. Yeah, I've had it a long time. It's molding paste. Let me just put a little bit on. It's really, uh, it's, it's like, got some hair on there. I was kind of gross. Um, but it's like a paste, but you can mold your hair. Let me get it. Yeah, let me get it. So what you can do, I'll just do it here because I'm, I'm probably wash my hair at some point. I take this and I can mold that back. 
if I really want to keep that back. And I want it to stay. It molds it where you want it. Like if you're going to be in film, see how it not kind of like stays back there now. And I, I still have a little bit on my hands. Let me look in the mirror here. Yeah. It, 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 I just molded it. It's going to stay now. Let me get this. I know. Okay. <laughs> so I use that sometimes. Um, I keep it. I haven't gotten rid of it. It's something that I keep. So no matter what, it kind of keeps it going back this way, away from my face. So as far as, as far as hair products go, that's it. I did want to also show you what time we got. I did want to show you that I do carry these around. <laughs> Especially I bought these for when I wore wigs. But remember these girls? Uh, there's It came in a three pack. Gray, navy blue, and black. Well, let's do the black. I'll just show it. So, sometimes these are kind of cool. <laughs> these are really nice to wear with wigs. Kind of brings it down. But yeah, I mean... So I just wanted to show you that. And I do have other hair. When I use, I had a hair coming out. I keep these in my tackle box. These are, these are really soft. Like it, they have to, I can't find these again. They actually advertise these that you could sleep with these, with your hair, but I never did. But I do like the fact that they're so soft and easy on your hair. And then I have some smaller ones. I keep bobby pins around because you never know. And here's like a barrette. Now, if I use a barrette, it's usually because maybe I want to bring my hair back and just kind of put it in a barrette. There we go. Get that back. Yeah. Okay, so as far as hair products, this is it. Here's some like hair ties that I've kept around. Yeah, here's, now this, I, I rarely use this. But you can get this at Walmart or whatever. But I, I, I sort of like it, but I don't know. Not too much. There we go. You can just sort of keep your hair back with that. Right? <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Okay. It's kind of fun. This is about, and then of course, you know, I have a whole bunch of scarves. And I'm not, a, I'm not going to try on all the scarves. I've kind of done that before. I just said, oh, let's have a, let's have a slumber party, everybody. Let's try on. I know, sorry, I'm looking in the mirror, primping here, but I want to get my hair back. Okay. So this is, well, this is my hair. Yeah, let me get this. This one hair. I don't know how that got so short. How did that happen? Get back in line. There we go. <laughs> okay. So let's now look at face products. I've got my hair all out here. I'll put this away in a minute. Let me move all this over. Okay. As far. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. One more thing on the hair. I bought this. It's a nightcap. It is, I can leave the link for it. It's adjustable and it's, it protects your hair. It's a nightcap, a hair cap for sleeping. And on the inside, it's silk, right? So what I do now when I, before I go to sleep is I take it and just kind of go like that with my hand and flip this over. And this is what I sleep in. Looks a little silly wearing a nightcap, but it's going to, my goal is to protect my hair so that it can start getting longer and thicker. So it won't break anymore. So this hair, and I did look it up. Your hair grows six inches per year. That's not a lot. If you think about it, I do. I have my ruler right here. What's six inches? Oh, it is pretty much. It's here to here. Okay, six inches. Oh, so that's how much your hair from here to here is where your hair grows. Let's do it here. Yeah, 
from here, from here to here. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of a lot, yeah. Okay, so got my nightcap to keep it nice. And as it keeps growing down, I'll keep trimming off the thinner areas. Okay, face. I'll just go with my face. Now, I have been following Dr. Dre. She's on YouTube. And it's Dr. D-R-A-Y, not Dr. Dre, D-R-E, the rapper. <laughs> yeah, remember Dr. Dre. Okay, so this is what I use. At night, I wash my face with, I've shown this before, but so there's a repeat. It's CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I wash my face with this. I just one little pump on a wash rag, a wash rag, and I have my collapsible bucket. And I only fill the water maybe about to here, and that's about enough. And I wash my face and I rinse it. Then what I do is, actually I have two of them. I use Retinol A. It is the only product scientifically proven, we're talking science now, um, that will diminish your lines, wrinkles, and it will repair and it, it will take care of um, your brown spots. Over time, it will diminish them, okay? This is L'Oreal. I'm sure you can find Retinol A in another brand, blah, blah, blah. But I use Retinol A. Okay. Now, I did buy this because they were out of Retinol A. It's called Vita Lift, and it's a Retinol A. Um, it's Retinol A, but it's a little bit different. I do like this one. This is kind of a, you press this down and it spooshes out the, the amount you want. So what I do is I alternate one day, because this is a lot more expensive. I alternate this one day, then this, then this, then this. And I only use this at night. I will tell you that this will make your face sensitive to UV. So you must wash this off in the morning. You can't just put this on and leave it on forever and go outside. You can, you're, this means that you'll be more apt that the UV rays will damage your skin. Okay? So you need to wear glasses, sunglasses. You need to put on sunblock in the morning. <sighs> yeah, do it. Take care of your face and wash this off in the morning. Okay, so it's morning and I get up and I, I, I actually wash my face, get my face ready and drink my water to hydrate my face, my body, before I ever make coffee. Which, by the way, cheers. Now, Kathy Ferguson, shout out. You have been following me. You've been watching a lot of my older videos and I just love you. A shout out to you. And you did, you the one that kind of got me thinking about this. Somebody asked me about my hair and you had just mentioned like a day ago, you said, I've been using, because I did this once before, I've been using your face routine, your skin routine, and I love it. She said she loves it. So, there you go. Now, in the morning, I wash my face with this. While it's still just a little bit damp, I put on, it's L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid. It's, it's, it's clear. And it's, um, let me, see. let me get this up. I don't want to lose any of it. This is very, this is expensive, but it's like a serum. And I go like this just to get it all over. And I just all over my face. If there's any left over down the neck. And I usually reach up. I got a shirt on and I get everything until it's all gone. I just do because this is out here too, right? I don't have a neck gaiter on today. I have a um, a choker from the 60s. Peace. <laughs> so, and then I let this dry. And then I make my coffee. After I do my coffee, a lot of times I go to the gym. And then I do the other things once after I work out. But this is what I put on first after I wash it. Hyaluronic acid. Now... This is um, Acetophil. 
This is my mineral face block. Sunscreen is different than sunblock. Sunblock works on minerals, not chemicals. And there is um, zinc oxide in here. Yeah, this is for the face. And I put this on uh, liberally. I put it on. Oh, yeah. This is what I use. I, I usually use Cetaphil, but I thought I'd try the Copper Tone. It is some mineral sunblock, and it, it keeps the sun out 100% naturally. Because if you use a sunscreen, you got to wait 15 minutes, 20 minutes before going outside because it needs to, the chemicals need to absorb into your skin. Mm, that doesn't sound good to me. So this, and you need to shake it up. This is what I use, Cetaphil. This is for the face. Now, at night, I did want to mention at night, after I wash my face and then I let it dry, I don't put, um, the retinol a on while my face is wet i let it completely dry but in the meantime i have tea tree oil that i've now washed the rest of my body with five drops four drops into the rest of the water i don't change the water i use the same water i wash my face with and then i wash starting here and go all the way down to my feet mm -hmm. oh yeah okay so then um after i use this a lot of times what I do is then I put daily moisturizing lotion and I put this on and what it does, it's a good primer and then I can put on some makeup and foundation. And so I put, put like a little squirt of this and then a little squirt of this and I mix it together and then I can put it on my face. So base, you know what? Basically that's what I do for my face. That's how I clean my face. Those are the main products for my face. And I just have a special bin in here. And I this is for my teeth. Yeah. And uh, now what I do is in my tackle box, I have one of these. I bought two and I put one in there for when I go to the gym to clean up. And also have just a little, a little thing of the lotion. Yeah, I have a little. What I do with the big one is I pump to refill this one. And I put this in here. Hey, you know what? I do have, let me show you this. I did buy this. It's a different brand. It's hyaluronic acid. I got this on Amazon because I wanted to keep one in my tackle box just in case I forgot to put it on here or I use this if I shower that once a week then I can after I shower I'll put this on because I want to keep what is in here I keep in here so what do you think one point I'll show you what I use for my makeup <laughs> oh yeah we could put me we could have a little makeup party that would be fun and guys if you've got hair a lot of you do use these products okay um, they're really good for your hair. You might, uh, you, because you should be caring for your hair. Women care for their hair. I mean, I'm, I know that there's a bald gene and everything, but what if, what if you started losing your hair because you didn't take, you weren't taking care of your scalp or your hair? I don't know. It's just, I'm just putting it out there, maybe. But as far as your face, start taking care of your face, guys. Yeah. Do it. So that's it. I do carry this brush around just in case I want to use the hair dryer. They do at Planet Fits, they have a hair dryer and I can kind of like go like that, dry it. But you know, I don't like to do that anymore because I'm trying to keep, this hair just really wants to go down, doesn't it? How's that look? We'll just have it like all by itself. An entity unto itself. There we go. <laughs> it just wants to come out. But I do just in case, but I try not to use the hair dryer anymore because it's just going to dry my hair out. What I'm doing is is healing, repairing my hair. Okay, so please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I love you guys. Go to minivanlee.com for my products. Go check out my website, right? Got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Lee Way. It's on Amazon. I love you guys. Till tomorrow. Face care, hair care.
You asked, you got it.